Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another FSR 3.1.3 video. Today we are taking a look at Avowed. Avowed. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah. Anyway, uh, before starting the modding video, I want to tell that I got this game free from uh, Keymailer. Uh, now, what is Keymailer? If you want to know in details, I will put that in the i button basically it's a site where you can get free games and game pass if you are an youtube creator or publisher or everything uh, so yeah with that out of the way uh, i want to tell that uh, this version of the game the game pass of version of the game is uh, working with the optfg but the input latency with the optfg is a bit on the higher side um, users have reported that so what i have done is uh, i have made two versions of the model one is probably for amd uh, i have not tested it on my nvidia system but yeah i have tested this one now in this one uh, there are some additional things which uh, we will talk about how you can install the uh, dlss fg because uh, we will use optis method to use the dlss fg not the what do you say uh, dlss enabler so yeah this is gonna be interesting video let's start this video without any delay now all right so first uh, we will be extracting this zip on the desktop the award uh, v1 and this is the v2 maybe i'll rename it as uh, v1 all right so after extracting this zip there is a storm going on outside so don't mind uh, there are three folders you can find uh, one is only opti which we will need to paste after that is dlss fg dll and one is dlss4 so if you are on rtx card you can use this dlss4 uh, if you are not then don't mind this folder just uh, need these two uh, so we're gonna go to the installation directory of the game to go to the installation directory we will use the xbox game pass manage option so click in this three dot after that manage then click on files and click on this browse you will be landed into the main directory here what is where the game is located then after award content alabama binaries win gdk where this win gdk shipping.ex is located uh, we're gonna copy this only opti first now if you want to test this only opti you can just set up the process and select dxgi and proceed with the normal procedure but i think that will lead you to a higher input latency so that's why we're using the dlss fg dll so we need to copy this then we paste it after that uh, we double click on the optiscalar setup.bat now one more thing uh, as i told uh, if you have rtx gpu you can use this dlss4 to use this uh, you first need to copy it then we're gonna go a little bit outside of this main folder where the engine is located then after plugin runtime nvidia dlss binaries third party i mean you just had to go forward after that path and we need to paste and replace this one this is the 3.5 or 3.7 i think so i just replaced it all right now dlss4 has also been now pasted we're gonna go again in the same directory where we pasted the mod then i'm gonna run the opticscaler setup.bat and select dxgi from here press one enter and it will say that it's already existed because i have already previously installed so i will select y for yes after that i'm gonna select two for nvidia all right modding done now there is still a step needed uh, in game which i will show you so yeah let's uh, dive in the game and i will show you what settings are needed to be tweaked in order to make the dlss fg work discord nitro classic is starting at just 399 rupees to grab the offer join discord windows 10 and 11 serial key the stock is limited so hurry okay so i am inside the game now what you need to do here first is uh, you need to activate the dlss from the setting so if you have done everything correctly you should now be able to use the dlss here but you will not see the frame generation here just yet so after activating the dlss uh, you need to press ins slash insert here now in here um, but let me make it a little bit smaller now in here uh, you will need to select this option frame generation optfg click on this arrow and select fsrfg via new games dll 
now it will show you save ini and restart so what you need to do now is click on this save ini and restart the game once so i'm going to do that real quick okay so i have restarted the game and now i will go to the setting again and after that scroll down here and i will see that dlss frame generation has now come online so activate that click on apply now go back to the game and you will see that frame rate has now boosted to from 50 and 60 to 80 uh, 90 and the smoothness with this frame generation method is really good like you can feel the smoothness of the real frames previously with OptiFG there is a little bit uh, higher latency issue that was also usable nothing too bad but yeah if you like a little bit better smooth version this is the version you should go with you can still press INS slash insert and get this UI on your screen and it will show you uh, some things so there is one more thing which is bro fix broken visual which is something uh, uh, when you talk to an uh, NPC uh, you get this uh, flickering or this bloody kind of subtitle but uh, yeah this uh, fix broken visual uh, have fixed that uh, so yeah this will be it for this video now if this helps you consider subscribing to the channel i make uh, many test methods and go through um, much much forums discuss with discord members to make more videos for you guys and yeah it's little sub uh, really encourages me for uh, making more videos so yeah if you're facing issue comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next one so until then cheers now